So what can I do you two gentlemen for? Open up the door, your friend wanted me to talk to you about something. Yeah, what is it that you want from me? Your drug dealer has been telling me that you haven't been paying your debt, so he wants me to tell you this tale. And they lived happily ever after, the end.
Miss Jefferson, I'm afraid to inform you that your brother has passed away, and we need you to come to Fox Saddle to attend his funeral and hopefully reconnect with his friends and such. Hold up, Miss Jefferson, something doesn't seem right, you look more mad than sad, is there a problem? Well, I remember my brother would get with the wrong crowd, so I have a feeling that it was natural causes or even a drug overdose. I think he might have been murdered by someone, but who? Oh come on Sarah, there's nothing I or you could really do about it, let's just move on. Hold up, now I remembered, I used to have a business partner who said that if I outmatched him in terms of overall raw skills and such that he would murder my family. I thought he was just messing around but who knows, this could possibly be true. Come on now Sarah, revenge isn't gonna help things out, there's a very likely chance you'll end up just like your brother, dead. Well, I can tell you're very concerned about my safety, but come on, I'm a fully grown adult, I can take care of myself. Well, uh, okay, suit yourself, but if you die, just remember, I warn ya. Mr. James Madison, this is me, Sarah Jefferson. Do you know anything about my brother being killed, or die in any way as I need to know the truth? I, A, U, A. No, 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 Damn it, this fucking jerk just ran off, now I gotta catch up to him and bring him to justice. Come on now James, this isn't a damn game, you're making me sound like Alex Rockwell mixed with Lisa McCoy here. This is your last chance, what did you do to my brother? Alright, alright, you win, I killed him, okay, he was such a pain in the keister since he reminded me of you and how I wanted to date you but instead you turned your back on me and busted my balls in the process. What the, you son of a bitch. Hold up, is there a probe going on young woman? Sorry. It's just that this guy tried to kill me and I had to use self-defense. I had no other possible choice, but thanks for asking, I'll just go back home then.
like I'm putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. Do you understand that? Turn the friggin' frogs gay. Serious crap gay. Frogs. Hello, my name is Alex Jones, and I feel really good to be a Republican right now, since after all, we have a Republican president and such. So, while we are here, let me do a shameless self-promotion and tell you guys about Infowars.com's new taint towel. Yes, it's a towel meant for between your dick and balls and your butthole. Also, can I tell you about my Infowars.com protein pack, which comes with three bits, toenails, nose hair, and other disgusting shit. MMMM, it's delicious I tell Z. Hello my name is Bridget Lahey. And let me tell you something, what you're describing here is destroying our country from the inside out. We, as a society, are meant to move forward thanks to an always adaptive climate, and this conservative point of view that you and many Republicans have goes against that belief 100%. Plus, have you not seen the bad stuff that Donald Trump has done, thanks to people being too busy making so-called dank memes about him? He's getting away with some seriously shady shit, like for instance, how Iran will no longer give America any more oil. If this issue doesn't get resolved, I fear World War III might come into effect and then the nukes will fly up causing a nuclear apocalypse and the human race will be wiped from the face of the earth. How do you feel right now still believing Trump is an alright guy, when we are this close to ending 14 billion years of progress? Well here's the thing, me and Trump got penises, you don't, your argument is invalid, suck my dick you search for whore, oh and one more thing, feel the mighty power of <laughs> Ah yes, Bridget is finally gone, I am gonna go off to film some Info Wars episodes and create more dank memes in the process. And remember kids, you're either an elephant or a dumbass. Goodbye. Friggin' frogs, man! It's not funny! I'm gonna say it real slow for you. Gay frogs! <laughs> My name's Lucas. I have too many eyeballs. I look around with all of the eyeballs. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Better what? Oh, there it is. Okay, bye. dark down there. I wonder what's on the other side. Lucas Cadenzo! 
I've been captured. I was playing easy, and I ran up to him. I was like, Dad, good. Then, <gasps> there he is. He's looking at me. Hi. The house, my chance to escape. When I grow up, I want to be the world's most musical spider. My name is Lucas. I am a spider. I want to sing you a wonderful song. And if you see me, please don't squish me. I want to be your friend all day long. The itchy bitchy Lucas boat is just for you. Sticks, twigs, webbing, and a little glue. You're probably wondering how we learn to sing. Well, it's not important what we play this thing. Oh, hello. No, stop! Come back! Oh, I worked so hard on that. I'm going to go make another one. What a village filled with tidy wooden people. Ooh. Hi. Oh, hi. I just was passing by. Hey there, Bob. How is the mortgage? How do you freak? I like your time. People think I'm scary, but I wouldn't hurt a fly. Oops. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, no. Yeah. Sorry. S smells nice. Ow! Too hot, too hot! <coughs> too smoggy. I think somebody already lives here. Hey, my harp! This looks nice. <gasps> it's perfect! Good night. I found him. Sort of about a week ago. I don't know what he is, but I think it's a polar bear. I'm gonna go boop him on the nose. Boop. Uh oh. Ah! Don't eat me! Somebody told me that because I'm a jumpy spider, I can't spin webs. Which is a really unfair thing to say. See, I can totally make a spider web. And look, I even put a bell at the bottom. So when it rings, I know I got something. And then I can have a new friend. This might take a while. I'll be back. I'm going to read you a scary story. This one is called Night of the Scary Spiders. Hey, spiders aren't scary. What's something that's really scary? Oh, I know. One dark night when the moon was full, something was lurking in the bushes. Suddenly, out came a creepy four-eyed vacuum cleaner. With its vacuum cleaner leg, it slowly made its way towards the unexpected... The are true! <gasps> Bell! Tick tock! Boop later! Aww, nobody's here! Ah! Who are you? 
Mm, that's a weird name. Ooh. Oh wait, come back! I just want to be your friend. Hi, my name's Lucas. I like your wings. Don't eat me. I didn't know you could speak. Hi, me again. I didn't know you could speak. That's really cool. Don't eat me. This isn't going very well. Hmm. Wait, don't buzz away. I brought you a present. Bzz, bzz. I like you. Let's be friends. High five if you want to be my friend. Can I come inside, please? It's, wi it's really cold out here. That fire looks very nice. I can warm my legs. I'll wake up them. Is anyone there? Okay, I'll just go sleep in this bed.